There are spots where the ground still smokes, in a forest with a story to tell. A forest that found itself on the front line of the huge Cedar Creek fire in Okanagan County just a few days before our visit. This is the biggest test so far of the state's forest health plan. Can you treat a forest so it has a better chance of surviving wildfire? Oh, you can see what's out here, right? Bottom line here, is this what you wanted to see? Pretty much, yeah. I think, I think most of this area that we're looking at that has had some fire impact is the low intensity underburn that we would really like to see on a unit after we've treated it like we did with the harvest. I'm out with two firefighting veterans with decades in the business of forestry and the fight to protect it. The sound of firefighting helicopters testify that the Cedar Creek fire is far from contained. If you had fewer trees, you're gonna have better survival. Pat Ryan oversees timber harvest on the state-owned trust lands that provide money for school construction. Uh, it would look a lot different. Ken McNamee is now the regional manager for the northeast quarter of the state. Low intensity fires used to occur naturally and regularly, often triggered by lightning that hit this tree. That was the mm -hmm. natural part of the cycle, mm -hmm. the kind of stuff that you're trying to get back to. Exactly. Pre-settlement structures is what we're looking for out here in our stands. To recreate those conditions in 2019, the stand known as Unit 1 was thinned. Hundreds of trees taken out, along with much of the other low-level vegetation that, when lit, act like ladders, allowing the flames to climb to the tops of the trees, killing them. For the most part, that didn't happen here. To find out, Ken McNamee carves out an answer. You can see how, how deep the bark is already. Ponderosa pine bark evolved to survive fires like this. Okay, we're starting to get into the cambium now. You can feel that this is still moist. Right there, that's the cambium layer, and that's, that's the vascular system of the tree. So that's where the roots take the water up to the top. So right now, this is still kind of moist, so it tells me it didn't get super hot. Okay. So it's probably got a pretty good chance. But another test called Unit 2 did not do so well. Still considered too dangerous to enter, we look from across the valley with Lands Commissioner Hillary Franz. We um, are learning this as we go in part. You know, there's a discrepancy in science about how many trees should be left on the landscape and obviously not all landscapes are the same. In this case we left in many places about 40, roughly 40 trees per acre. We're going to be going in after this fire is put out and we're going to use it to learn. But while these trees may not survive, the energy released here through the flames may have been less intense, giving firefighters a better chance to save the homes of people who live here. On Virginia Ridge in Okanagan County, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.